I am JD Wolf, and welcome to my XCOM Long War overview of the Engineer abilities. Okay, guys, let's take a look at the Engineer class here. When you are presented with a support specialist, you can either choose Field Medic to become a medic, Grenadier to become a engineer, or you can select a random subclass where the game will pick a random class that is not one of those two. Now there are a couple of different ways that you can approach the engineer. Either you can make the engineer uh, concentrate on grenades exclusively. Um, you can ignore the grenades once you have grenades and concentrate on the guns. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can um, design them. So I'm going to go through all of them and then we'll talk about the, uh, the strategies that you can use. At Lance Corporal you have the choice between rapid reaction, smoke grenade, and sapper. Now what sapper does, you know what the other two are, uh, your grenades and rockets, when you get a rocket, will do additional damage to enemies and do additional damage to the environment. So if you're taking frag grenades, you will have a better chance of destroying that, um, that wall that you're trying to take down or whatever cover the aliens are behind because your, um, your grenades do a random amount of damage and they do more damage in the center of the explosion than they do on the outside so there's no guarantee that a particular grenade toss will actually damage, actually destroy the uh, cover you're trying to destroy. So the more environmental damage you can do the better. So I actually prefer Sapper even though rapid reaction, if if you're choosing to ignore grenades, rapid reaction would be better, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Sharpshooter, uh, dense smoke, or hollow targeting is the next choice. Tactical sense, smoke and mirrors, or repair. Now, yes, I chose sharpshooter for corporal, and if I had taken smoke, I would have taken dense smoke. But... Um, and then there's hollow targeting. If you take rapid reaction, you might want to go hollow targeting if you're going guns. But I prefer to do the grenadier and, and sapper. And between those two, there's, it's either sharpshooter or hollow targeting. And I wanted to actually hit and kill with the gun. Now at sergeant level, I took tactical sense, which was a mistake. Smoke and mirrors, you get additional support grenades. The problem with that is up here, you're getting destructive grenades in a single inventory slot. So you could take four frag grenades or two anti-personal or four anti-personal or you know a combination of the two destructive only then here you get one smoke grenade extra that you're not actually carrying and then you can make it dense here you'll get additional support grenades so you could get two smoke um, so if you had taken smoke there but if I'm taking flashbang grenadier doesn't help I have to use smoke and mirrors to get the one extra so that's kind of that you know these two would be fighting each other really however repair which I didn't take on this character and I wish I had uh, grants plus two arc thrower charges what that means is the arc throwers now have about a 45 percent chance of hitting depends on how you knock them down the the chance of uh, stunning is much less and you only have one charge per arc thrower so getting plus two arc thrower charges here gives you a total of three for that character, which is awesome. Now you are using up one of your grenade slots to when you do take the arc thrower. So that's a trade-off there. But this is the character to, you know, with repair to go on your capture missions. On Tech Sergeant, you have suppression, which is good. Minus 30 to aim and affects the area thing. But gunners using LMG get opportunity when they move you're not a gunner using LMG battle scanner you know what battle scanner does or heat warheads now if you are taking destructive grenades at all or are planning to you have to go with the heat warheads it'd be nice if I, we had heat ammo and it affected the warheads and the and the guns as well but you know if you if you're taking grenades at all you have to go with the heat to let it do additional damage to robotic enemies just in case you use them against robots I know that the grenades don't do that much damage but there you go uh, will to survive uh, you know one or two less in cover uh, Ranger plus one damage 
or Packmaster. You got to go with Packmaster if you're if you're concentrating on grenades. It brings you up to three grenades in each slot with the gren with the grenadier up here. I believe this gives you plus one on anything you carry that's limited use. So technically, let's say I take six frag grenades because anti-personal grenades, personnel grenades do not um, damage the environment. When you get to Master Sergeant, you have extra conditioning, rocket, or bomb, bombard, bombardier, or bombard. <laughs> uh, this was a difficult choice. I looked at it and, you know, I tried it both ways. Fire rocket, you do get a rocket launcher. It's like a regular rocket. So if you're in there with your frag grenades, let's say you got an arc throw over here with three charges. You got a frag grenade with three uses. And you have a rocket launcher to destroy more um, more environment farther away. The problem I've had with the engineer is that she's concentrating on grenades and you know she's got to get close enough to throw them. And they're always just out of range, just out of range. Bombard. I took Bombard to see what it would do. And the grenade goes as far as she can move in a double move. Basically anything she can see, she can put a grenade on it. And that is powerful. That is awesome. If she can move and then throw a grenade a double move, that is tremendous coverage. So at this rank, you could take six frag grenades into battle and have a very good chance in each engagement of pitching a grenade to destroy cover so the rest of your guys can shoot. Very, very effective. Love Bombard. Um, so, I mean, you could take, uh, if you didn't, you could, if you ignored the grenades, okay, and you said, you know, I'm stuck with an engineer, but I want to make her good because she's got a good aim, let's say, uh, rapid reaction, uh, sharpshooter, you still want to do the repair, I'm sorry, suppression's good, if you're not doing, if you're not going to toss anything, you do suppression, you can also do battle scanner, so she could be a support thing, um, but if we're talking guns, we're going to do the suppression, and then maybe ranger, since we're doing guns, and maybe extra conditioning if you're doing guns. If you're doing grenades, I like what I have here. Grenade, sapper, uh, sharpshooter, tactical sense. Uh, no, instead of tactical sense, I would do repair, and then heat warhead, pack master, and bombard. Now, if you want to max her out on grenades to where she doesn't use her weapon at all, because let's say her aim is, you know... 60 you know or 55 something terrible and like I never want her to shoot I would go grenade I might go smoke but I, I really want to do the additional damage I really like sniper sapper sniper sapper better than smoke and so then but if you want if you want to max her out on grenades then you would go smoke and you would go dense smoke and then you could go smoke and mirrors now the problem with that is that you're boosting up um support grenades with smoke and mirrors to where this is really destructive right here so yeah if you go smoke and mirrors right here that would max the grenades it would you'd be bypassing repair which would kind of suck because I really want to do repair uh, but the smoke and mirrors would allow you to have at this point two very effective and damaging no not we wouldn't take sapper I'm sorry let's back up if I'm carrying <laughs> just the grenade then I take smoke now I've got five grenades, uh, one of them being smoke, and now the smoke is dense, and now one of the support grenades goes up, um, so I'm taking six. You know, the smoke goes up, so now I have two smoke. Then, I, now I can throw a battle scanner. If you want to throw stuff, that's what we're talking about. Now you can throw a battle scanner, and you don't have to use a slot for it. So now she's got a lot of grenades that she can use. Then you go pack master, and everything bumps up. All those grenades that she's carrying bumps up. And now she has bombard. She can throw grenades, not necessarily the battle scanner, mind you. I don't know if it affects the battle scanner. Probably not. The battle scanner goes pretty far as it is. But all those grenades will go a long way. So there's a few different ways. The, the one I just described would be, you know, down here would be the way to get um, maximum grenade. Uh, in in her satchel, you know that she can start chunking stuff, and when she gets to bombard, she can really throw it out there. Um, however, for me, 
Uh, I like the way I have it designed here. Uh, I would prefer repair to smoke and mirrors, but smoke and mirrors will bump up the support grenades. Now, I believe smoke is counted as a support grenade. I don't think battle scanner, because it says support grenades, it doesn't say, and this is called a device. So I don't think it affects that, but I don't know. Maybe somebody could clear that up. So the engineer is difficult to move forward. She doesn't get the kills. If she's out there, especially now that she has Bombard, she's probably not going to get another kill for the rest of the game. She'll have six grenades, and her job is to clear the cover. Clear the cover, clear the cover. Um, so that is my take on the Engineer class. It's kind of a mixed bag, and there's several different ways you could go about it. But um, it would help if you guys can see all this up front and say, well, I want to maximize her grenade, so I'm going to go there, here, here, and maximize her things to throw here, here, and here. Um, or I want to do the sapper, and then let's ignore the smoke, and then, oh, let's get the repair, you know, and you know what's coming up. Eventually, she's going to be able to take these grenades and throw them as far as she can see. You know, she is the pitcher on the, uh, on the XCOM baseball team, you know, so... <laughs> Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that rundown. I know it's kind of, you know, it's a mixed bag kind of class. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of room for flexibility and there's not really one best path to go down. I don't think, uh, it depends on your flavor of play and what you need to fill in your, in your teams. But in long war, you have a lot of, a lot of guys. So she may be filling a niche on one team, but now she's on another team. You know, the, the, the teams bounce around unless somehow you're able to keep your teams together. Um, which you could do. So I hope you enjoyed that rundown. If you did, please like, subscribe, and tell your friends. And until next time, stay safe.